Queen warning monarch told to use her own money to pay for Prince Philip's funeral. Queen Elizabeth II and the royal family have been told they should cover the cost of Prince Philip's funeral themselves rather than the UK taxpayer. During an interview with Express.co.uk, anti-monarchy campaign Tina Graham Smith, the CEO of Republic, launched an attack on the Queen and the royal family and said that anyone who is not the monarch should not have the funeral and the policing costs associated with it paid for by the UK taxpayer. Republic is an organization that campaigns for the abolishment of the royal family and wants Queen Elizabeth II to be replaced by an elected democratic head of state. Mr. Smith said regarding the prospect of UK taxpayer paying for the funeral of the monarch's spouse, I don't think we should. I can understand with the monarch if you are the head of a state and there is a state funeral offered, then you might understand why the taxpayer could pay for it. I think it could be tried to suggest we do not do that with the Queen. I think with Prince Philip, he's a private citizen. He happens to be the husband of the monarch. They have plenty of their own money they can arrange and afford their own funeral. He continued, I don't see why the taxpayer should be asked to do that. It will cost the taxpayer a lot anyway because of the policy. I'm sure it will be a public event which will attract a number of reasonably large crowns. I just think that royals tend to conflict themselves with the state and they seem to think everything they do needs to be funded by ads. I think this is not appropriate and I hope that the point is being made clear to them why Prince Philip is still alive. The CEO of Republic also criticized the level of spending from royal family. Mr. Smith added that the Queen Elizabeth II is most likely the royal that spends the most due to her position as head of state. The public, Republic CEO said that the Queen obviously being head of state will cost the most I imagine. Certainly someone like Prince Andrew has also shown himself to be quite casual about publicly funded travel with helicopter flights and private jets and so on. It is very hard to pinpoint one over the other, but we know that the Queen and Charles take millions of pounds from the two duchies. We could assume that the Queen would be more expensive than other because of her position as head of state.